I've got a teensy little bit of explanation to give today. You may or may not have noticed that the channel name is slightly different. Um, Sinister Bunny Studios is now just Sinister Bunny. And I kind of didn't really prompt it changing. It's been something I've been thinking about doing for <clears throat> months now. And I finally just convinced myself, like, hey, just do it. I had been trying to think of, like, different kinds of names that didn't have to do with Sinister Bunny at all. But I came to a realization that, hey, I can just drop studios off and kind of check the boxes that I was looking for for a new name. Sinister Bunny Studios was a cool name when I first thought about it <clears throat> and came up with the channel in 2017 or whatever. Um, and before I started taking it seriously, a couple years later, it was a cool name. However, I am not a studio, a group of people making things. I'm my own person. I am an individual. And since I don't believe that my actual real name, beyond just my first name, Virgil, is kind of presentable enough and enough to be memorable in a cool way, um... I needed something that was a little more personable, and I think the idea of Sinister Bunny Studios kind of has a connotation, an underlying meaning of like a company almost, like a group of people, um, and like an entity over anything. And like I said, I'm an individual, and I want my name and branding to reflect that. So I think, <clears throat> going forward, being known as Sinister Bunny, as opposed to Sinister Bunny Studios, makes more sense. And it's shorter, and I think it rolls off the tongue a bit better, and it looks better as a name. And you know, when I would talk with people who know about the channel, they would cut it short and say, oh, you know with Sinister Bunny, right? They would never add the studios at the end, which made me think, hmm, maybe that's not... Um, the easiest thing to say. It's kind of a mouthful. Cool idea at the beginning, but times have changed. And so I made that change on pretty much all social media, I think, so far. There may be a few things that I've missed. Um, and I've also gone through to start the process of changing the artist name for all the music I have out on streaming platforms and stuff because that was all also under Sinister Bunny Studios. So through DistroKid, I was able to change the name to Sinister Bunny for all of my current music that I have out. And it's just going to take some time for all the different stores to make that adjustment and reflect that. So for a while, if you listen to my stuff on streaming platforms, it's probably still going to come up as Sinister Bunny Studios for a while. And there may be some weirdness with um, things maybe not popping up certain songs. Uh, because of the artist name change in the system with Spotify and other uh, platforms kind of adjusting to this like shift rebrand kind of thing. Because um, everything I read up on the FAQ with DistroKid on doing this, they said it can be kind of difficult at times. But it was something I felt like I needed to do. It's something I needed to change to make me happier with how the channel is presented. And um, I'm sure you can agree that being known as Sinister Bunny, like, hey, that's by Sinister Bunny, as opposed to, oh, that's from Sinister Bunny Studios. That sounds like a corporation. It sounds like some kind of editing thing that you see, like, before a movie starts, where it's like, blah, blah, blah. And it, like, shows all the different studios that worked on it. So I'm hoping that this gives me a little bit more of a personable approach to the branding of the channel and whatnot so that it'll maybe appeal to people just a little bit more because I think psychologically and especially with YouTube and social media people tend to gravitate towards personalities and people more so than companies and so I think at first glance if somebody came across my channel and uh, they may just click away because it seems like a company but if they see my channel as Sinister Bunny they know it's a person not a company. And so maybe they'll be more likely to click that. And maybe it'll help people tune in a little bit more and get to know me and stick around a lot better being Sinister Bunny as opposed to 
this weird entity known as Sinister Bunny Studios. But again, I don't think it's too drastic of a change, but it definitely shifts kind of the branding and how it kind of represents itself. And I think it's for the better. So you'll have to let me know what you think about the change and whether you like it or not. It's here to stay for a while at least, so even if you don't like it, sorry, it's going to stick around for a little bit. I can only change so many things so many different times, and it's not good to flip-flop around. But I think this was actually better to change by dropping studios and just leaving a Sinister Bunny as opposed to completely rebranding to a completely uh, different name. I had a whole list of different names that I wanted to do as entities and stuff. And um, I think this one works really well and still maintains the essence of what the channel is without making a drastic change. And so that's where things are headed now. I am now Sinister Bunny everywhere. So when you tell your friends and your family all about the cool videos that I make, you can tell them that, hey, I watch this guy, Sinister Bunny, on YouTube, or I listen to, to uh, Sinister Bunny on um, Spotify or Apple Music. It sounds a lot better to me. I think so. And um, that's where things are just going to keep going. So that's pretty much the gist. So if you didn't see the community post from a handful of days ago about this change, then, well, now you know. And that's that. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. And um, I'll see you in the next Sinister Bunny video. Cool stuff coming. Hint, hint. Subscribe.